Hello everybody, this is Hammer Striker here. Alien gear holsters, I've always liked them. They, they really are usually very comfortable and work quite well. And I was speaking with Alien Gear and they sent us this kit to do a review on to, for an honest and fair review and it's called the Core Carry Pack with their Shapeshift modular holster system. And basically what this is, you buy this kit the way you see it and you have four carry positions for the particular gun that you have it set up for and then you can buy additional shells in different calibers and not have to rebuy all the parts. The key to this is instead of having to buy a new holster every time and then wait for availability to be in stock, I'm going to use this Glock 48, or this is a 43X, but the 43X 48 will fit this holster. I'm going to use this when I demonstrate it. But once you buy the kit and you buy additional shells if you want to carry different guns, you've got all the positions ready to go. So, show you what's in the box and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the holster up for each one and I'll just cut in a little clip of me drawing from that holster in that configuration. A very detailed manual. This manual does a really good job of explaining how to do it and then a note as you can always watch their video if you don't really want to read the manual or the manual isn't doing its thing for you. So we'll start with pulling out what is the back plate for either an appendix or a sliding belt holster. And you can see that it's got this little clip assembly on it. And this is how the whole thing works. This, this little clip is really the magic of it because as you might guess, this is not as it sits in my hand, a useful holster. And here's their 4.0 inside the waistband. And the same thing is it, as it sits, it's not a useful holster, but it will be by the time we're done. All of these clips can be twisted and turned out. They pop out and inside the box when I open it up there's a whole assortment of different style clips. So whatever it is you like or whatever height you want to set it to, you just turn it to the right angle. You see it's kind of got a uh, flare on the bottom, kind of a bell shape or an anchor shape and you'll see on the same hole. So you simply line that up and then rotate it up nice thing about that is when you've rotated it into position it can't come out you'd have to break it and these are really fairly durable so you don't have to worry about it popping out all the time or slipping out even if it tilts a little bit you have to go that full 180 to get it to come out which is really nice design it's real flexible and most of what you want to do with this thing you do by just turning things you don't need screwdrivers or wrenches there's a few things that you'll use a wrench for and I'll show you what those are and it does come with it. So inside the box if I flip up this little thing you've got all of the clips there's J clip, D clip, C clip, whatever type of style clip you want you can use on anything that uses the clips, any of the pieces that use the clips. It comes with two different style paddles it comes with this really small lightweight paddle that you can clip on either your belt or you can clip it uh, under your under your pants or under your waistband and then a belt through so the belt would go through this and this would sit up against your body this is the one place you would need to use a tool because you need to take this little turning adapter and mount it on here that's really the only thing that I saw so far that I needed a tool for with the other possible exception of this thing, and I'm going to pull it out, I know you can't see what I'm digging at, but this you can mount on a surface, under a desk, a console of a car, wherever it is you might want to mount a gun. You mount this thing, and then when I get to the shapeshifter assembly itself, you'll see that it would go into this socket here, and this is the retention for it. And it comes with all the parts you would need to mount it on a wall, through drywall, wherever it is you want to put this. So you've even got a place to mount your gun, let's say, on a bedside or at night. So continuing on, there's clips that you'll use for belt loops in a couple of different positions. And then the main event, and this is the point where I'm going to put the box aside and I'll pull the parts out of it as I need to while I go through creating, creating the different holsters. But here's the shapeshifter assembly and it's shaped like a gun. And I can put a Glock 48 in it because there are 43 ox, that's what I happen to have. I keep saying 48. It has thumb retention, but the thumb retention is not the 
retention that necessarily keeps it from coming out. I can hold the thumb down and the gun still won't fall out because there's adjustable retention right here. You turn this little screw, you turn it clockwise, it increases the tension and counterclockwise it decreases the tension. And don't worry, you don't need to buy a tool for that. These little clips actually suffice as the tool. And it, it's got nice distinct clicks when you adjust it. So in the different modes where this may not be in play, depending on what you're, how you're setting this up, you may not have this in play. Even with this held down, the gun won't fall out, but unless you hold it down, it'll lock it in place. That's kind of important on the outside the waistband setups where the gun's visible, it could actually be grabbed by a perpetrator. Unless they get that thumb grip on it and push that lever, it's not gonna come out. It gives you time to react to what it is that's going on. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this up for the 4.0 inside the waistband and I'll show you how you draw from it. This is fairly easy to set up. I'm going to take the two clips off. You just rotate them. And then the holster will slide apart. Now there's two halves to this shell. When you have it split apart for these types of things, you're not going to use the one with the thumb retention on it. So you're going to set that aside. But don't worry, you've still got retention from this adjustable retention piece here. And there is a piece that I need to retrieve from the box. Oops, it's right here. This is the trigger guard. And this is what goes on to make this a complete holster and also retain the gun. So you put this piece on. Got to line it up correctly. Actually, I got it bass backwards. If I do it correctly, it's actually easy to do. There it is. It's, it looks complicated. It really isn't once you've done it a couple times. I've only done this once and you know just to be able to film for the video. But as you can see, it's relatively easy to do. And then there's a little piece I need to get from here. I happen to have stored it on here. This little piece here goes on there. And then one of these little clips goes right here. So at this point, it's, it's solid. Now it does bend up, but keep in mind, this isn't inside the waistband holster. You're gonna put a belt across here. So the belt's gonna retain it in place. But even without the belt, it's fairly solid. And if I put a gun in it, it doesn't come out because the adjustable retention device is retaining the gun. But if I want the gun, it's fairly easy to get it. So it's, overall, I, I'm really impressed with the design of these things. So that was easy to set up. Now I'm going to set this thing up instead to be used as a uh, appendix. So we'll go for appendix. So I take the clips off, take the clips off, slide this off. Now I'm going to leave the, hold the trigger guard on here. I'm going to put this on here. And there's a different clip from the box I need. There's actually two clips. One for large frame guns, one for small frame guns. And basically it's the amount of rise. Because what you find is that the clip actually sets directly over the gun so that you can put it in appendix style. And of course you'd put one of these little locking pieces on here and lock the gun in place. And now this is set up for appendix. Drop it in and go, I'll show you. Now that's not the end of the usefulness of this little backer piece, because if I take it partially apart, remove this clip, and remove the trigger guard, because I can replace it with this trigger guard that also happens to have a belt loop on it. Now I've reassembled the shell with a trigger guard with a belt loop on it. Put the shell back on. Put this other belt loop on there in place of the arm that went over it. And there is a clip to put in right here. You want to make sure you do that. It's a real pain if you've got bigger fingers to get in there. 
This is the only one I found a little difficulty with. So for the purpose of the demonstration, I'm not going to put that on. But you would put one on to use it. But now you can use this as an outside the waistband slide belt holster. A little lower profile than, than the other parts. So this one actually kind of performs two functions and is kind of useful for that. And let me show you a drawing from it. So, so far I've been assembling this thing as a half shell for these holsters that are set up to be either inside the waistband or otherwise you know, close up against you. Now I'm going to reassemble it as a full shell. So I'm going to take the parts off that I put on and reassemble the two shells. They definitely go back together easier if you put them facing the correct way. Put the clips on. Don't forget the clips. They're easy to forget, but the clips are especially in the full shell mode because the clips are actually now what holds it together. You know, and as I demonstrated before, it holds the gun and you have retention. But this is set up for if you're going to go outside the waistband. And I'm going to use this paddle holster for the setup because this is the one that came pre-assembled. But again, all I would need to do is use a tool to move this little plate over to this one and this would be available. But now, I just line these cogs up, looks like a little gear, with that in whatever orientation I want it to be. Do I want to tilt? Maybe not that much, maybe that way. Do I want to go the other way? Whatever orientation I want to tilt this thing. And then you push this release to open up the clip so that you can drop it in place. At that point, not only will it not rotate, but it won't come out. So overall, you can see there's a large diversity of things you can do, and I've got this set up for a 48 or 43X, and I can do it on all these different variations. Uh, in a, another video, they did send us some additional rigs. They sent us a chest rig and some other things that are outside this kit, but you would use these same shells in some cases. Other cases, it comes with its own grip. But I've got one of these set up for Glock 29 for hunting. I could also use that for regular concealed carry or outside the waistband carry. So there's a lot of interchangeability. So we'll do a follow up and show you how this can play into all those other things. And you can buy these shells to set up for the different guns that you may want to carry in the different positions you want to carry and not end up with drawer of holster. You, you, know, you buy the various, you buy the kit and then you just buy the extensions and you're pretty much good to go. So thank you annually and gear for sending us this kit and the one we'll show in another video. It's they're really an impressive setup of really good high quality holsters. Beyond that, if you like our videos, please give us a thumbs up, share, subscribe, click that bell to get notified if you do. Check us out on Facebook, Patreon, Instagram, Twitter, kind of all over the place. And thank you.